one of the state's largest man-made waterways is getting a much-needed cleaning. Reporter Dylan Anchetta joins us now with the details. Drew, Vicky, the two-mile Olawai Canal first opened in 1928, and over the years, it's gained a reputation for its filthy conditions. The Olawai Canal. At times, it sort of has a bathroom smell. <laughs> Canoe clubs use it to paddle, even though water quality isn't the best. Paddling in a canoe? Great. Paddling in the water? Uh, not too great. I wouldn't swim in it. If you drive by the canal or walk along its banks, you might see some of the pollution that plagues the water. Plastics, a tire, and even an exercise ball all somehow ended up in the canal. Below the water is no better. Sediment has built up over time, increasing the risks for flooding. But considering how popular the canal is for recreational activities, why is pollution in the area so bad? During heavy rain, runoff from mountains and neighborhoods float downstream into the canal, bringing sediment and trash. The canal was built as a runoff and was never intended for recreational use. Therefore, the Board of Water Supply said monitoring water quality there is not a priority for the state. Okay. okay. That's ridiculous. When I was a little girl, I went in the Walla Walla. It was fine. It was cleaner. The site is also infamous for sewage spills. In 2006, about 48 million gallons of raw sewage flooded the waters. Since then, some have had negative opinions about the canal. I wouldn't recommend swimming if you're a paddler. Hopefully you won't get splashed with the water. We even see people fishing there, which I wouldn't recommend eating from there. Signs warning of health hazards are posted, but they're covered in graffiti. The Department of Land and Natural Resources has allocated $13 million to drain and dredge the canal in an upcoming project. They've also requested an additional $5 million from the state's budget to complete improvements to surrounding sidewalks and bridges. The improvements are good news for watermen who use the canal daily. We need this all the way for sporting, for training, for water sports. It's essential. We need this all the way to be clean. Now 2002 was the last time the canal was cleaned, and this latest dredging project is set to begin in 2018. Dylan Anchetta, UHM-TV.